this is the hairstyle I decided to wear today and it's really simple I just put my hair up in a high ponytail today and the ends of my hair I actually um, redipped my hair uh, what I did I actually parted my hair in four sections and I plaited it really tight toward the ends and I dipped it in hot water and then I let it cool and I took it out and I decided to do like some waves or crinkles or whatever you want to call it in my hair instead of the curls I got kind of got tired of the curls uh, that was in it so I decided to do it this way and I actually like the way it came out it kind of reminds me of the wet and wavy hair uh, that I used to use by uh, Afro Beauty collection um, the human hair that I use so this is the way it came out and I decided to put it in a high ponytail last night and I actually put it up in a high ponytail just so just to sleep with it like that actually um, and when I did it I actually liked the way it looked so I decided to just leave it like that and wear it like that this morning and this is the way <laughs> that I decided to wear it and I just put it kind of to the side like a side ponytail but I actually just kind of pulled the hair to the side really um, it was just going straight to the back so I decided to just wear it to the side and I kind of liked the way it looked like I said so let me know what you think about it it was just a really simple quick hairstyle I didn't feel like coming up with too much um, the outfit that I have on today, I have on this like a bright, really bright like neon tangerine <laughs> orange dress. And it's just a pretty much a straight made dress. It's really plain. Um, it has like a zipper down the back of it, uh, which has like some silver down the back of the dress. And I decided to put it on with silver today. I have on a silver wide like corset belt, which you'll see in pictures at the end of this video. I've worn this outfit a couple of times before, I think. Uh, the jewelry that I decided to wear, this hand I just have my wedding ring on. This hand I have this silver ring that my sister purchased. I don't know where she got it. I have no idea. Um, it was a gift, I'll put it that way. Um, on this hand I also have a, a orange and white bracelet. The bracelet I didn't do myself. I actually purchased this bracelet at um, It's Fashion Metro a very, very long time ago. And I forgot I had it actually. But it, I decided to wear it today. The earrings and necklace set. Um, first, the earrings. The earrings are actually some earrings that I purchased. The beads came on them, but I actually went in and added bling on top of them. And I did a video on it, and I have to go back and find it. And I put the link in the info box. But this is the pretty much how they came out. And I forgot I had these also. Like I said, I put the link in the info box to the. Um, earrings. I actually added the rhinestones on myself. They didn't come with any rhinestones on it at all. The necklace charm, I have on my Tweety Bird charm. Um, if you all don't know, those who are new, I am a huge Tweety Bird fan, so if you see me do any cartoon characters or anything like that on my things, it'll probably be more likely to be Tweety. So, this is the charm that I actually made, and I have a video on that as well. And I will put the link in the info box. The shoes that I'm wearing, of course, you guessed. Yes, I'm wearing my Tweety Bird shoes today. And the purse. So these are the shoes. And these shoes, um, needless to say, these are like one of the earlier pair. I want to say, I think this was the first, actually the first pair of shoes that I actually did, if I'm not mistaken. And I haven't had any problems with any of the rhinestones popping off and I've you off if you've been following my channel you've seen me I've wa I wore these shoes I don't know how many times they'll look dirty I actually need to clean this on the inside of them when my toes be it but um I haven't had any problems with any of these rhinestones popping off of these shoes I check some of my shoes um I have to admit some of them of course you're gonna get rhinestones to pop off especially around the uh, platform part and sometimes you'll get a few that come off like round the hill. It depends on if you're um, if you step down you know on the concrete really hard or something like that on the curb really hard but um, these shoes I've worn I don't I can't count the times I've worn them. I've worn these shoes a lot and I was looking at them because every now and then I'll, the shoes that are rhinestone I'll, the, that's mine I'll check and see if any of them um, have popped off so I can actually go in and replace the rhinestones on them. Um, the ones that have popped off. But so far I haven't replaced anything on these. And I'm looking at the other shoe. None of these have popped off either. So that is a good sign. So this is the other shoe. 
and I did these myself these were just a white like there was a white platform shoe snow white uh, platform shoe um, it didn't have anything on them they were just plain white uh, cloth there was more like a denim type of uh, cloth fabric and I just went in and just rhymed some on top of them and I also put the words Tweety on the side of it in um, some letters 3D letters uh, th this is the handbag and I kind of I like this handbag the clutch bag but um, I'm really into large purses now so I'll probably be doing me another Tweety Bird set soon well not soon but I'll probably get around to it sometime next year because I got a lot of things piled up right now but this is the handbag and the back of it I just did all clear as well and this purse was actually uh, like a metallic silver uh, when I purchased it didn't have anything on it of course and I also put the letters on there as well and I'll put the link like I said to the video I think I have like two videos up because at first these, these uh, the shoes had like a corkscrew heel and I just rhinestone the shoe at first and then I went in and I didn't like the way the corkscrew look heel look with the rhinestone so I went back in and I did the heel all over and rhinestone it in the same silver so um, I'm not sure I think I posted it It was like two different video because I did like an update video later on when I changed the shoes so yeah so that is basically it my hair update um, these braids are still holding up so far um, I have new growth and I'm really really extremely considerate to start taking these down next week I really am um, I haven't made up my mind fully yet my mom's like they still look okay you can get a little longer but I don't know you can see the new growth that's in there um, they've been in probably uh, I know a little bit over a month so I don't know exactly if I'm going to take them down yet or not I want to take them down next week but I don't know I'll keep you updated on that and if I decide to take them down I'll let you know so that is basically it oh the lipstick that I have on. okay the lipstick that I have on is I'm not going to be able to see this um, it's by wet shine diamonds and it's number 35 and it's called Mandarin ice I had to stir at that for a long time before I could see it but this is the lip gloss it's like a lip gloss somewhat is orange and it has like some glitter shimmer like glitter and I don't think my camera will focus on it but it has like a little bit of glitter shimmery glitter in it and I really like this a lot um, can't remember where I purchased it I think I got it at Walgreens a while ago also, my poor little Tweety Bird case. This is a Tweety Bird uh, cell phone case that I did for my phone a while ago. And I've been trying to, um, because I got another cell phone now. So this case is not going to fit my new cell phone, which I want to cry. So what I'm going to do, um, which I'm going to do a video on it when I d uh, decide to do it. So it'll be later on. It'll be way, way later on when you see the video. But I am going to try... The 3D Tweety Bird has, I, I, I want to keep the rest of the phone in case I really don't care much about. But my other cell phone is much larger than this one, so I'm going to have to um, switch my cases. And you all know I hate to give up my Tweety Bird case, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and pop this off of the case. If I can't get it off, I'm just going to take my drill <laughs> and I'm just going to cut down and cut around the Tweety Bird and take it off and put it on my new cell phone case. But I'm going to decorate the outside of the case differently. So you'll see me do that soon. Um, this case, actually, I tried to take it off my phone a while ago and I actually broke it. The, the top case uh, part, the part that fit around the front of the phone, I actually broke it a long time ago. So I didn't really care because I knew I was finna about to get a new, another cell phone. So anyway, I'll do an update video on the actual case and I'll keep you updated on it and uh, I'll probably do a tutorial on how I'm going to do it or whatever when I get ready to do it. So that is basically it for everything. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you later YouTube. Till then, take care. <laughs>
Bye.